is up, guys. We are here for our TLC predictions, and that means we bring in the one and only, the expert herself, Izzy. And she's oh, all what? enthusiastic with her TLC shirt on from, I think, three years ago, right? I don't, I don't know. So, to be, wait, this was in 2016. So, four, well, four, four or five years ago, you know, we're almost at the end of the year. But it was funny because this isn't actually WWE's shirt. This is somebody. So I think we were like, oh, the shirts are way too expensive. Like at like the shows, we were like, okay, we'll just like wait or something. Like I wasn't like too picky. So there was this one guy who was selling the shirts like after everybody was leaving. And so we got it and I was like super excited. And I don't know if it's like the guy stole like their um, graphic or he just like put everybody on it, but it was cool. And then on the back, I don't know if I can do this but it has like all the shows for 2016 and 2017 it's really cool i like it i like that one you always yeah. gotta do those bootleg merchandise guys you never know i, know. I like those they're, they're comfy well, the shirts are comfy they're not like the scratchy shirts which i don't like so yeah yes. so guys if you find bootleg merchandise people get, get it, it. <laughs> yes so We'll go on the SmackDown side first. Kevin Owens, Roman yeah. Reigns, the Tribal Chief, TLC. What you think's going to happen, my friend? Man, this story has been very interesting. You know, both, like, Roman has been very dominant for the past few weeks, you know, with his feud with Jay Uso. And then, like, him kind of almost, like, I don't want to say blocking out Jimmy. Because, yeah, they were, like, kind of, like, tag team. Or, I don't know, because it's, it's a very odd, like, story. And then, like, Kevin Owens, you know, he really hasn't been around lately until they brought him back to commentate for NXT. So I guess that was a big thing. I really don't understand why they brought Kevin back. I don't know if it was just to, like, bring in a name and everything. So I understand why he's like, oh, I really want this opportunity because he hasn't really gotten, like, a chance like this in a while. So I really see Roman staying on top of this match and for, like, most of the match because you know he's Roman Reigns he's we've seen him be dominant you know like unforgiving like I really see him like just beating down Kevin Owens and having Paul Heyman be super happy so I definitely see Roman Reigns pulling out the win for this one and I think we talked about this on Survivor Series too just like the heel like the, Roman as a heel like we've been wanting yeah. this for so long and he's finally in that spot I agree with you where I don't think Kevin's gonna get it done I feel like you know yeah. he won that match against Rollins at Mania but since then he left because of COVID he just came back what has he really been doing you mentioned NXT I, I, yeah. like that was so dumb too because they're like we're gonna bring Kevin Owens like you have people on the roster that are commentators. Yeah, I mean, I really miss Mauro as a commentator, and, like, I really, I, he's, like, the only commentator that I like. I'm not a fan of um, Wade and Vic together, because Wade, he's just, like, I don't know. Um, but I really liked when they had Mauro, Beth, and uh, Nigel, because they were just, like, they really complimented each other. You know, you had Beth and uh, Nigel sometimes going at it and then like Mara would be kind of neutral and be like kind of funny and Mara's um, analogies were so good so like I really enjoyed that part and so like I kind of realized it like Wade and Vic they don't break down the match they just like say like what's happening they're not like oh Johnny Gargano for the past few weeks has done this and that kind of you know honestly when I was doing my NXT stuff like when they would break down the match that would really help me with research so like I really miss that part but one day. When, when I get there, you'll like me commentating your matches, I promise. I'll break <laughs> yeah. down everything for you. Just like send you all my notes, like here you go. <laughs> but I think, I think Roman's gonna win. There's no way. I mean, we have yeah. to see him versus Big E at WrestleMania. I mean. I know. It's, I, I don't know. I, WrestleMania's gonna be odd this year, but hey, I guess we're gonna still have to see what happens. I can't even pick my Rumble predictions. Like, at least, like, now yeah. everyone's like, this person's going to win. And I'm like, there's, like, five people per Royal Rumble match that you could pick. I know Royal Rumble is going to be hard this year because, like, you can't have 30 people in the ring. Well, I'm not, like, I don't know, because I know they're going to be very cautious about it. And also, I would see, like, us, like, or not us, but, like, them doing a bunch of eliminations, like, really quickly and, like, having, yeah. like, five people in the ring at once gonna be and they're trying to get fans at Tropicana for that too yeah it's sad it's very sad one day we'll be back to normal guys <laughs> yes 
Well, I think we should kind of move on to Drew yeah. McIntyre versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship in a TLC match. This is a big one, y'all. This is going to be fun. Um, you know, Drew McIntyre, he's – I I kind of feel like he's going back to the old Drew McIntyre when he was, like, goofing around, you know, with Sheamus and, like, Heath Slater, you know, back in the day and everything. So, like, I don't really know if he's going to be capable of really coming out on top. And AJ, he's been goofing around with The Miz and John Morrison recently. So, you know, it's it's kind of hard. They haven't been super focused, as I would have hoped they would be. But, hey, this is a TLC match. So, tables, ladders, chairs, everything is on the board for this one. So, Honestly, I kind of see AJ winning this one. I feel like somehow some something's going to happen. I don't know, like, what exactly. Maybe The Miz and John Morrison get, like, involved or something. I don't really know. But I really see AJ, you know, holding the WWE Championship by the end of the night. That was perfect. I'll give you a little research. So yeah, the what last do you time, think? The last time AJ was in a TLC match, he won. Back in... Yeah. Like 20, I think it was 2016, 2017, around there. So he's undefeated when it comes to TLC. When it comes to Drew, I feel like with this hinting of Sheamus might be turning heel and Keith Lee trying to get involved, I feel like, hey, you know, Sheamus is my pal, but I might be watching my back. I'm the champion. I have Miz who might cash in, and they were hinting it so hard on Raw that I there's no way that the Miz is not getting involved in this match somehow, whether he cashes Uh in. You don't think he's going to cash in? Oh, yeah, The Miz is – so, okay, so – He could cash in. Mm, I don't know because that's really hard because then I've had to – because I, I don't see him, like, turning on AJ. That's, like, just not possible. So I don't really know. That's hard, but I think I'm really going to stick with my prediction, and I think I'm just going to, like – I'm just going to say AJ is going to win. I I guess I'd be happy for him to win. I guess it's something different because we kind of see the same thing every week on Monday Night Raw, to be honest. But – I don't know. Maybe a change in scenery would be nice. I definitely don't want the Miz to be champ. I do not like him at all. He is so annoying. That thing that they did on Monday, I just really couldn't. And it was just not the day. So I really, I just know. (laughs) The Raw rating showed that they showed the same thing on Raw every single week. (laughs) But I don't, like, I think AJ's going to win. I feel like The Miz might sneak in maybe after even the next night on Raw because he's done that before. So I'm sticking with AJ. I'm agreeing with you. But I see a lot of involvement, especially because it is no DQ. And yes, it could happen. Yeah, unless they do, like, AJ wins and then The Miz and John Morrison turn on AJ, which I can kind of see, you know, I would really understand that. But I don't really know. This this one's going to be a hard one to tell. But somehow Drew will just be like, I want my title back. Yes, he always says that. And I'm just like, bro, you gotta wait. There's other people on the roster. (laughs) (laughs) Are you Asuka's tag team partner on Sunday? Oh, we're jumping right into that. Okay, we got to segue into that, girl. You were like, are you Asuka's... Girl, well, that was my segue. Away. Are you Oscar's well, tag you should have been like, no, 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 no. You should have been like, I have, but I, but at the end of the day, I have one big question. Okay, I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna start it over. Go ahead, start it over, Kimmy. <laughs> I have one question for you concerning this Sunday. What is that? <laughs> Are you Oscar's tag team partner? <laughs> this is so funny. Um, I, I'm not. I really am not. We never know. Um. You know, I know, like, this past week, you know, with Lana being taken out of the TLC, well, not it's not a TLC match, but their tag team match, um, I know a lot of people are speculating whether it's going to be Charlotte. I know Mandy Rose helped out Asuka and stuff, so I feel like that's going to be kind of, like, the upset if Mandy comes out, because honestly, nobody wants to see that. Um, so at the end of the day, I really see Mandy, but if I had to, like, theoretically, and if we live in a perfect, perfect world, I'd have to go with Charlotte or Tessa Blanchard, you know, to know yet, you know, I'm really hoping Tessa does show up soon, because she truly deserves to be on the main roster or even NXT, so I don't know, and she would just make the women's roster way better. The NXT women's roster isn't very good, to be honest, like, there's an NXT women's champion that I, we haven't seen in, like, a couple of weeks, they're saying, um, 
we have somebody that's asking for air fryer recipes. I'm just saying, like, this is like, come on, people, get it together. And then on Raw SmackDown, it's not even, it's not that better, you know. We have Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus Asuka and Lana for the 150th time. But anyways, um, if we lived in a perfect world, I definitely see Charlotte and Tessa, you know, going into this match. Um, but honestly, I have to go with Mandy being Asuka's partner for Sunday. I'm going to be so mad. I agree with you. In a perfect world, Charlotte, I think yes. it makes sense mm -hmm. because, you know, Royal Rumble season's around the corner. I also yeah, do yeah, not is. I also do not want it to be Eva Marie because I've heard rumors that Eva Marie might be coming back. Yeah, I forgot about that one. I feel like that would be really cool. I liked Eva, you know, I feel like she would come back like stronger and everything. And she's like a really cool person too. So I feel like that would be a lot of fun. So, you know, but I don't really know yet. I really don't. I, if in a perfect world, it would be Charlotte, Tessa or Eva, but I definitely think we're going to get Mandy this Sunday. I'm trying to, like, think who else is even, like, Lacey you could do, Peyton Royce. I don't even yeah, know who else on the Raw roster. It makes more sense to do Mandy because she literally saved Asuka yeah. in a way. So I just, that's kind of what I'm seeing. This is our hopes, guys. Our hopes is already down here. <laughs> don't yes, be surprised it us. It's very sad. So are we going with Nia and Shane are going to retain? Oh, yeah, we had a bit to, like, a predictions. Um, yeah, I, I see them, you know, retaining, you know, like, I don't see Asuka getting pinned because that just looked, like, really bad. But I see them retaining because, I don't know, you can't have Asuka and Mandy as champs. That just wouldn't really make sense. It would be nice if they used the Raw Women's Championship. The last time I believe it was defended was Clash of Champions on the pre-show against Luna Vega. If someone wants really? to check my facts, like on a pay per view wise, I think oh, the wow. last time was September. Well, it, I wonder if it's because if it's not on the pre show, then that means like something big is about to happen. But if it's going to be Mandy, then I'd see it being on the pre show. Not like knocking on Mandy, but I mean, it's only six matches. So I don't know. Maybe like truth, they're probably going to do something with the 24 7 title on the pre show. I don't Maybe they'll, I don't know what they'll do for the pre show, but I'm sure they'll find something to do. Who knows? TLC, guys. I feel like December's just been this huge month for wrestling with everything going on. And then there's WWE. Yeah. Not it capitalized. Really has. It kind of has. December has been a big month for wrestling and stuff. So, you know, hopefully TLC is good. I think it, I don't know. Like, I, I hope it is. I hope it is. I don't want to be disappointed. Bless paper of the year, guys. It Finish is. It strong. This is a big one. <laughs> Because then the next one's Russell, we're in WrestleMania season. Yeah, and Royal Rumble, and I think Royal Rumble is a huge pay-per-view. So, you know, this is going to be an odd one. Hopefully it's good. I, I, I guess it's going to be good. I don't really know, but. Would you like to do the outro? I would love to, because last time it was kind of funny that I did it. All right, everybody. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, let me start over, y'all. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching our TLC preview with me, your girl Izzy from the Hot Tag, and Kimmy. Woo! Uh, just thank you guys so much for tuning in, and make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. What are you excited for? And make sure you subscribe if you haven't, because Kimmy has some awesome videos on the way. And also, shameless promotion for me. You can follow, oh wait, first of all, you can follow Kimmy on Twitter. Ki at yes, Kimmy at Kimmy underscore WWE and on Instagram at Kimmy Talks Wrestling. Yes, awesome. <laughs> I was like, I don't know her Twitter. Um, and then also you can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Pro Wrestling Tees. It's all, it's Izzy Mania. You know, I have my show the hot tag. Go check it out. But make sure you are subscribed to Kimmy's channel if you haven't. So anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And happy TLC. Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. I will see, well, we will see you guys next time. Bye.